In this video, we will be starting a new chapter that is chapter number 10, Motion and Measurement of Distance. See, we come across a various question that you might ask your mother that what is your height? What is your weight? How much sugar should I buy? How much milk should I consume? Yeah, how much milk is there at home? How long ago did you return from school? To give an accurate reply to these questions, you need a measure for length, mass, volume, and time period. Now, you make a guess without measuring sometimes, right? But your guess may turn out to be wrong just because you are not clear about the measurements that you have. So, you might be guessing like my weight is approximately 20 kgs or 23 kgs, although you have not measured it. Right. If I say I am taking a glass, so there is a juice that is in this glass, it has, let's say, 100 ml of juice in this glass. There is one big glass, I am pouring that 100 ml of juice in this big glass. Now the juice is still here. In this glass. Now by seeing this, you will say that uh, this glass has less juice whereas this glass has more juice. right? But if I pour this glass into this big glass, the amount of the juice remains same of 100 ml right so we need some units in order to measure the accurate uh, volume of any of the material so due to which we require a measurement now you can think of different things you measure in your daily life you measure the length of the line segment the time during the day, the weight of vegetables bought from a vendor, the temperature during the day to see whether it is very hot or cold, the speed of the car you are traveling in. So all these are the uh, measurements that you make every day. Now quantities like length, weight, time, temperature and speed that can be measured are physical quantities. You call them as physical quantities. Now these are the things that can be measured very easily. So quantities like length, weight, time, temperature and speed can be measured. These are known as the physical quantities. Now the unit of measurement which could be used uniformly by everyone then such a unit is called a standard unit Now let's say if I talk about cloth. Now this cloth in India everywhere is measured in meters. Right? If I talk about liquid, everywhere it is measured in liters. That is L. Then if I talk about weight, 
In India, it is measured in kgs. In US, it is measured in pounds. So in India, we are using this uniform unit that is kgs, right? So these are known as the standard units which are used by everyone. What is measurement? See, you must have measured the length of the line segment using a scale, let's say 10 centimeters. Then you might uh, measure the weight of your body, let's say it is 30 kilograms. You might measure the uh, amount of milk left in the vessel, let's say it is 1 liters. Now, the number here is 10, 30 and 1. And the standard units are the centimeter, kgs and liters. Now, what does this 10 uh, centimeter means? It means 10 times 10. as much as the known unit. Now your unit is centimeters, so it is 10 times in your known unit. 30 times as much as the known unit. 1 liter means same as the known unit. Now these are your known units, so you can say the standard units centimeter kgs liters whereas these are the number of times it has i hope you have understood this do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us